Hey, I'm Coach Mickey, and I'm so glad that you've joined us. And if this is your first time joining us, come on in and make yourself comfortable. For those of you that join us on a regular basis, I am so glad that you do. Thank you so much for always reaching out to all of our guests, and please connect with them. They love hearing from you, and I appreciate all your comments, your questions, and your suggestions for people that we have on here. And uh, it has been so much fun to actually hear from you as my circle of friends, and they love hearing from you also. So today is going to be really fun, and uh, it's one of my favorite subjects, and I happen to meet this lovely, lovely person. Um, she is amazing. She, I'm just going to wrap it up really quick. She is a mother, a sister, a friend. Uh, she's a believer, and she has got this incredible company that just changing hearts and businesses with connections, and uh, I'm going to just introduce her and let her jump right in. How are you today, Amberly Shreve? I'm well, Mickey. Thank you so much. It is such an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. It's going to be fun. So I'm excited because I, when you told me what you do for work, I mean, I should, is, will you switch gears for your career and what you were doing compared to what you're doing now is just seems so much more your passion and, and like getting to know people and doing what you do. Uh, so I'm going to let you go ahead and share that. Yeah. So, um, Back, I, 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 you know, I sometimes I, I forget about that life, but I, I spent over 22 and a half years in corporate America and unfortunately treated very poorly um, during that time. So I decided that it was a mission of mine to go ahead and leave that space after years of harassment and degrading and devaluing so that I could really find my myself and my purpose and my passion. Um, I started making cards when, when I was about 12 years old. And um, then once I came into the corporate world, I um, mostly uh, human resources and office management. After I left there, I, I really felt as though my world needed attention. It, it needed to be rebuilt. Um, my husband didn't really understand what was going on because you have to remember, you know, we're, we're in a generation that you just kind of suck it up, right? And you just deal with things. And that is not what I want to teach our girls and what we want to teach our girls. And I really felt as though I had the weight of the world wanting to be an example to them. And Honestly, I just really got on my hands and knees and I just started to pray through it all because I felt like my entire life was in wildfire. And I knew that if I did not take the steps now, then I was probably going to go even in a deeper depression than I was already in. Um, so I took myself through the steps and learning more about myself, getting curious about who I, uh, who I was, what I wanted. And um, it was a really difficult time for a, for a while trying to figure out all of those things. Um, my husband and I, we worked hard. We, we had some things that we needed to repair within our marriage and within our relationships and the relationship with my girls. And when I finally started um, the career piece, I knew that I wanted something at home because the girls loved me being here. So I dabbled in finance and a little bit of insurance at the time. It was very, very heavily male dominated and a space where it was more about things and not about people. And I knew that that was not the space for me. So once I started networking and really figuring that out, I had gone to a networking event and met my business associate and he told me about promptings. And I knew um, that it sounded very interesting. It scared me so much that I had to pray about it. And I didn't even call him for like two and a half weeks because I was so nervous about it. And so I finally called him. Um, you know, I talked to my husband and he was so funny because he's like, oh, you know, there's, there's, uh, you might do better in insurance. And I said, you know, I, I don't think that insurance is for me. So I decided to go with my gut and I really just delve in and I just learned how to build relationships and I learned how to uh, teach people acts of kindness. And I used how I felt back in corporate America. You know, we all deal with things throughout our life, whether we have toxic relationships or um, uh, places in our lives where we are struggling or we have traumas. We, we all have these things. So use them 
in a way to benefit the person that you are and use them to help heal yourself because that's literally what I did. So um, going through learning about how to speak with others about teaching acts of kindness, really learning how to connect with people on a more meaningful level. And that has now taken me to where I am today. And I really have the opportunity to connect, um, establish and help others maintain and build their beautiful connections and give their clients the ultimate experience. I love it. I love the fact that you took a chance that you went with what you knew in your heart you needed to change and then to take that. And I don't want to say risk, but I, I can't think of another word because a lot of people would say that, oh, you're taking a risk, you know, but you know what, that's what keeps life exciting. If we, I call it corporate cobweb. I had shared that with you off off air. Yes. And I said, I've been in the corporate world too. I actually worked in marketing. I was in with head of marketing at that time. It was called GT Mobile Net before Verizon bought it. And I, I kept working and working and working and bringing all these things. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, it's like, there's a big spider up on top and everybody's stuck in the, co you know, the corporate cobweb. You're just stuck. Mm -hmm. And it takes very, very few people, but it also takes a lot of courage to say, this isn't for me. And I want to do something different that is going to serve and be beneficial and sit well with you. When you lay your head on your pillow at night, it's like, do I feel like I really accomplished something that really made my heart sing? And I love the fact that you said, this is not for me. This is what I need to do. And then to go out and do that. I want to elaborate a little bit more. I want you to explain when you said go out and teach people about kindness, you know, can you share with us a little bit about what you, what you mean by that and, and how you, how you incorporate that to what you do? Sure. So most um, business relationships, they're, they're, they're mostly transactional. There's someone's looking for a service and you provide the service and you're done. Well, I believe it's more than that. I believe that when you build a relationship that you you build a friendship there they become a part of your family and you build that relationship for years to come we don't just want the one and dones we want people who we are going to do life with we want to build community where we have one another to support each other we're not meant to do things on our own so i really believe in the community aspect i really believe in us working as a team and these this service and our relationship marketing tool gives you the opportunity to build very strong relationships within business. And it provides such a space of authenticity. And it, I believe it actually provides a place where it shows vulnerability. And when you appreciate someone, you... <laughs> you stay memorable to them because they they are going to remember who you are. They're going to remember most of all how you made them feel. And that's the key. We all want to feel seen, heard, valued, understood, and appreciated. And that's truly what we all want. I agree. I agree. And, and, uh, what was the what was the quote? It was like it, people remember they'll, they'll remember twenty percent of what you said. They'll remember eighty percent of how you made them feel. Of course, and and yeah, and I think a lot of businesses don't get that. You know, yeah. again, they get, they see you as a number. They see you as data. They don't see you as an individual. And when you uh, told me what you did in regards to these these send out cards, and let, let's talk about that because this puts a whole new element and level to businesses to be able to reach out and, and make that one-on-one -on -one connection? Yeah, it does. And it's such great questions. So we have a web-based platform that you can go on and it doesn't matter if you are looking for touch points throughout the year, birthdays, maybe you're a financial advisor and you're looking to celebrate the anniversary of that policy. Maybe you're a realtor and you truly want to give your clients the ultimate experience. You want to take that photo in front of that new home and you want to thank them. Thank them for choosing you. I mean, you're you're making such an impact and helping them with one of the most important decisions of their lives. It should be more than just an email or a text message. You should want to be able to provide something for them that they are going to have for years to come, build those relationships strong. And then they can go back and say, oh gosh, it was so wonderful working with such and such. 
Um, these cards allow you to be able to keep in constant contact. I always recommend at least one touch point a quarter because you are going to stay top of mind. It increases your referrals. It increases your customer base. I mean, you know as well as I do, if if you go out and you just do something one time, oh, and, and then you forget about it. You don't really realize or think about the experience that you have. But when someone is constantly reminding you of who they are, and how they've shown up for you, well, when they go to meet someone and say, you know what, I I just met with someone and um, I, I told them a little bit about you because I really believe that you could help them. And that says so much about who we are and the difference that we're looking to make because it's a domino effect. When you share and spread kindness to one person, they are going to do it to someone else and then the next person and the next person. And before you know it, look how many hearts and lives that you have touched and changed in this world by sending out appreciation because you cared. And if you need help and you're so busy that you want so badly to take advantage of the service, but you're not quite sure how to do it, we have virtual assistance to help you. So there should be no excuse to be able to send out kindness and appreciation. We are here to help you. We are a community of like-minded people who are here to service and help you bless others so that way you can be the best expansion of yourself. I love it. And as you know, my circle of friends, all of the information to be able to reach out to Amberly and see her her wonderful business and what she does will all be embedded in the YouTube channel, but it'll also be uh, in the podcast too. So please, please, please uh, feel free to click on that and then reach out to her. But I want to share a story with you, Amberly, that came to my mind when you were talking about making that, that difference, something that can make one little thing can make such a big difference. And I'll, I'll keep it real brief. So I was, I was coaching and one of my dads uh, ran a very large corporation and we were talking on the sideline and uh, I knew he was, he said to me, he goes, do you know anybody who's looking for a job? And I said, well, I said, I, if I know of anybody, I'll let you know. And he said, yeah, I just, he go, well, have you done Indeed and all that? And he said, yeah, I'm doing all that stuff. So I, he came back to me a couple of days later and he said, I said, hey, how's it going? And he goes, well, I had an abundance of people that sent me in their applications and the resume. And I said, how do you get through all of those? He goes, I know. He goes, I had so many of them. I didn't even know what to do. He goes, so my assistant and my HR and all that was going through it. And, and I, he said, but I, got, I found someone. I said, that's great. And he said, you know, what was interesting is that this person is not really, they weren't overqualified. Matter of fact, they didn't have some of the qualifications I was looking for. And I said, well, then what was the difference? And he said, when we get done with the interview and because I went through all these people and he goes, I narrowed it down and he goes, and this one really wasn't on my radar. However, he said, but the next, he goes like within two days, he said, I ended up getting a thank you card. He, they sent me an actual thank you card for taking the time to interview them. And he said, and that's the person I hired. He goes, because I thought someone who would go out of their way and go above and beyond, even though they didn't have the job to send me a thank you card for my time is the type of person that I want part of my staff within my corporation. He goes, that fits my culture. So you're absolutely right. One small thing, act of kindness can make a huge difference. But also it told me that that company that's their culture because they're looking for someone who is willing to do that and go above and beyond. So what so what you do and what you offer, you know, can take that one person you never know to the next level, to the next thing, because it's one little act of kindness that went one step further than somebody ever expected. Absolutely. And we have over 30,000 templates that you can choose from. We have mantras. Um, I, I, I think, thank you for the business. I think encouragement is a huge piece. There are a lot of people doing a lot of life right now, and it's not always easy. And I think being a entrepreneur and a business owner and forward thinking, imagine what it would look like if your client, you saw something on Facebook or you actually took a moment. I mean, it takes less than three minutes to send out a card. I mean, it might not even take that long. And you sent them something just to encourage them. Imagine what would happen within that relationship. And I really feel as though it matters. Um, 
you matter and they matter. And I think when we treat others as though they matter, it really does make a difference in the world. So now your cards, are they virtual or are they physical? I mean, so are they both? So what, what do your cards entail? So these are all physical cards. And um, I can give you just a few examples I can put up on the screen. Um, so here's just a few of some of the ones that we have. We have Those are lovely. Cards. We have gratitude, appreciation. And then you can customize on the back of the card your branding so that people know exactly how to get in touch with you. They're never gonna forget who you are. And most people, they will put the cards up on the fridge. And then, you know, when they have friends or family over and they'll say, oh, you know, what is this? This is so beautiful. And when they look inside and say, you've received cards from your financial advisor, you've received cards from your realtor, you've received cards from your bookkeeper or your CPA or um, whomever, um, your virtual assistant. And we say, well, gosh, I don't receive any cards from my people. <laughs> and it <laughs> makes a difference. It makes a difference. So um, I just believe in, um, I think, sharing our acts of kindness with one another uh, really does make a difference in other people's lives. And it truly shows the type of person that you are, how you're showing up, and really the impact that you're having on others. Uh, it's That is so profound and you're absolutely right. And well, I, was, I wanted to add also to it, you know, some may look at the refrigerator and say, well, my, my financial advisor doesn't send me cars, but then there could be somebody who's there that is a financial advisor and go, that's a brilliant idea. I need to start brilliant sending idea. out cards. Absolutely. To my <laughs> absolutely. Yes. So, so tell me about you. I know you've got... Uh, you wear a lot of different hats and I know you, you know, you do a lot with your family and mm -hmm. uh, besides doing it and you are a, definitely a, a go-getter and you're out there making a difference in the world. And uh, so what, what's some of the favorite things that you really enjoy doing? Uh, well, we have, we have two little girls and well, I guess they're not so little anymore. Um, teenagers, almost one's almost a teenager. And um, we are huge in softball. Uh, our oldest daughter plays travel, both girls play rec softball, and we absolutely love the sport and being able to make memories with the girls. Um, we love the beach. Uh, we love family walks and playing outside together. Um, we do have a rescue puppy, so we enjoy um, playing with her as well. Um, we're, we're, I would like to say we're pretty simple people. Um, you know, church on Sunday, throughout the week, you know, the private lessons, the practices, all the things, the meal planning, life, you know, I, um, the mom had, we have so many, right? So um, us mamas out there, we are, we are making it happen. But um, that's, that's pretty much me. I, I, um, I'm looking to really grow a beautiful community of, of, like-minded people that we can support one another because whether you're dealing with the mama side or the business side um we should all be supporting one another and i truly believe in lifting up other women and other people and providing a safe space where they can share and be curious about what's going on in their lives and we can come together in community because i think there you make the most difference yeah, and we wear a lot of different hats, especially as a as a, a woman entrepreneur, as a mom, like you said, and, and we we wear all these different hats all the time. And and I'm going to ask, I just want to see because I know a lot of people are probably thinking the same thing, and I get this question quite often from my circle of friends: is how do you find the work life balance? Because it, you know you've got families, and you know just like you and I, we're taking kids to practice, and we're making meals, and we're doing this, and you know we, we're we, we've got this long list of things that we're doing outside of trying to run a business. But what what do you do? What is your what is your secret? What do you do for your your time work balance? Sure. So, um, well, I um, my husband and I we we work very hard to be a close knit team. Um, there are times where he will take our oldest daughter to practice where I'm kind of at home, maybe meal prepping, maybe doing a couple of things around the house. And then we, we flip flop, you know, the, the things that he's really good at, he sort of takes 
um, you know, uh, he takes that and I take the things that I'm really good at. And then we come together and we just make it work as far as the business and all of those other things. I, I time block. Um, I learned this from a very important colleague of my, uh, in my life. She advised me to time block. And if I don't, then I overstep my boundaries with myself. And um, I want to make sure that I honor myself and my needs because we all need time for self-care. We all need time um, to be able to sit and go over things that we need to sort of process and, and deal with. And sometimes we also need a moment just to step away and really breathe and um, have time with loved ones and to be able to make memories, all of those things. So um, I think time blocking, figuring out what you want, figuring out what you're good at within your home, within your family. Um, we have a pretty pretty tight schedule. Um, we uh, it's, it's a little more flexible over the weekend, but um, sleep is a huge thing in our home. Um, I, I believe good sleep and eating well, lots of water um, contributes to a... Uh, a healthier lifestyle for us. So that's a big part of, of what we do as we come together as a family. That's nice because when you've got a partner that can help you with that load, especially with a family, that's that makes a big difference. But I do want to touch on something that you, you brought up, which I think is very important, is self-care. And I think a lot of times we forget to block that time out. You know, I just started with that calendar, you know, where people can log on and, and you know, schedule the times with me. However, what I, I realized is like, wait a minute, I need to schedule some time for me. And it's like, I've got to have time to be able to eat. And, I, some, and honestly, sometimes I just take an hour and a half and go to the gym gym, you know, if just, or even maybe just take a walk down to the beach or just go outside and get some air. And I, and I, I go, I'm just as important as my clients. I'm just as important as the other people that I'm trying to, you know, help uh, thrive with their business. I need to be able to take care of me because if you're not taking care of yourself, everything else is going to, is just not going to work out either. And you've got to be oh. there for your kids and your family, because if you're not taking care of yourself, how are you going to take care of them? You know, it's, I had a, friend of mine who came on one of my earlier podcasts oh my gosh well and it's, it's been a while but she made an analogy that I thought was really brilliant she said you know I always take care of myself because it's like the airplane was the first thing they say to do put the oxygen mask on you first then put the oxygen mask on your your child you know so it's the same thing it's like how many times are we <laughs> Taking, putting on oxygen, oxygen mask, you know, because we're like, and then we're trying to save everybody else. And, you know, and we're the ones gasping for air. <laughs> right? yeah, it's so true. The self-care <laughs> piece is so true. And uh, it's so important for us to, to really love ourselves. And that is all part of loving ourselves. And honestly, um, it took me a really long time to learn how to do that. I, I, it was something that I had to work on myself because I would always put myself last. And, um, you know, a lot of things come up when you put yourself last, a lot of things that I had to work through. So it has been constant work on myself. And now that I can love myself more and, and those things I'm still working on, still working on loving myself more, still working on the self-care piece. Um, still working on daily how to honor my needs and making sure that my boundaries are set for myself and for my family. Um, because a lot of times, you know, as we have kids, they they can overstep boundaries and our spouses can overstep boundaries. So we want to make sure that everyone is living in a space where they feel safe and heard. Those things are truly important. So um, am I perfect at everything? No, I'm not. Um, I'm not a perfect person, but I will tell you implementing these things and learning how to incorporate these into our lives have has made our home a, a happier, a happier place. I love it. And, you know, there's there's something that I've I've always realized, it, you know, even a, a perfect rose still has thorns. There is no perfection. And, no. and so, and, and I love it. And that's what we need to understand as, as women, as individuals, as people that don't, don't thrive for protect for uh, perfection. No. It doesn't exist. It really doesn't. And, and it's like to even think that, that we can even accomplish that is, you know, we're imperfect. That's just the way we are. That's the way we're made and embrace it, love it and, and be, uh, you know, run with it. Um, we've got like, 
about two or three more minutes. So is there anything that we didn't cover or that you'd like to share or that you'd like to say that, um, that we can uh, give to our circle of friends? Well, I, I guess I encourage all of the people, the listeners, all of you out there that are searching for an opportunity, you're not quite sure where to start. You're not quite sure what you're meant to do. Just ask yourself, what do you want? What do you truly want in this world? And what would make you happy? And I, I don't think people really ask themselves that. I don't think that, um, I don't think couples really um, have those types of conversations. And I think that it's important because when you're caught in the everyday, it's, it's, that's a tough place because we're so used to, um, we're so used to all the things all the time. And I think once we slow down and we figure out the things that we want and we are able to show up in a way of respect and value and really considering the other person's feelings, I think then we can take a step back and really be able to um, honor each other's needs. Um, I, I I would love the opportunity to speak with anyone who's looking for an opportunity. They're not quite sure where they are in their lives. They're, they have questions. They're, they're just, they feel stuck. Um, I'd love to be able to speak with them. And look, there absolutely is no perfection. Life is messy. I mean, seriously, like any given day, there's laundry, there's dishes, there's stuff, you know, people are running around the house, there's all kinds of stuff, but we still, we are living large, we are doing what we need to do, we are making a difference, and I just want to be able to share that with the world, change hearts, touch lives, and do this all one card at a time, so I'm truly grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us today. And then just give a shout out for your website. How can they reach you through your website? Yes, of course. So um, you can reach me at um, sendoutcards.com forward slash Amberly Shreve. And that's A-M-B-E-R-L-Y-S-H-R-E-V-E. -E. Um, and I am on all social media platforms under my name and on TikTok and Instagram under at Beach Girl Shreve. I love it. So, and again, um, your link will be embedded into this podcast and also into the YouTube channel. So you guys can click on that. Um, thank you so much for being with us today. I love your insight, your story. I love what you're doing. Um, I love the fact that you took something that you really believed in and, and you ran with it. And that is so, like I said, that it just gives me so much inspiration. And again, it takes a lot of courage and, and I love hearing stories and so do my circle of friends. So thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Thank you, Mickey. It's been an absolute honor and a pleasure. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being with us. And uh, again, please connect with Amberly. I think you would absolutely love her cards. And for every occasion, whether it's for your business or personal, it is something I think that we've kind of lost track of. And, and I know for me personally, there's, there's something fun and touching when you do receive a card in the mail. And, you know, and we, we usually don't get a lot of mail. So when you do go out to your mailbox, you'll have something fun to at least open up when you when you arrive there. Uh Again, thank, I want to thank Keep On Sharing for being our sponsor. Uh, if you have not had a chance to visit Keep On Sharing, please do. Uh, KeepOnSharing.com is a place where you can list your businesses, your services, and your events for free. Uh, they are a company that treats you as a partner, not as a product with like other social media. So thank you so much for Keep On Sharing. And until then, please remember the most courageous thing you can do is be yourself. And until I see you again in next week, see ya.